I want to remind the Security Council that the presidency is responsible for conducting foreign policy of the country and makes decisions by consensus on all foreign policy issues according to, to the Constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Furthermore, I would like to remind the UN Security Council that my country is fully determined to promote the peaceful resolution of the conflict in accordance with the purposes and the principles of the Charter of the United Nations. In this regard, the Presidency issued a statement dated the 6th of March 2014 calling on all parties in dispute in Ukraine to refrain from the use of forces and to immediately engage in the political dialogue to resolve the situation in the interest of peace and regional and global stability. Mr. President, we believe that involving women in conflict prevention and mediation, deployment of women's protection advisors to the United Nations peacekeeping and special political missions is a crucial to building and reinforcing peace. We have been working on additional efforts to advance this issue and have adopted a policy that one third of nominated candidates for peacekeeping mission must be women. The Council of Ministers of Bosnia and Herzegovina also continue to convey on a regular basis adopting new laws and sets of amendments to existing legislation. These included the 2014 state budget, the public procurement law, as well as amendments to the law of the electricity transmission company and amendments to the law on money laundering and financing of terrorist activities. The work plan of the Council of Ministers for 2014 was also adopted as well as the framework budget for 2014-2016 and the Partnership Action Plan for NATO for the period 2014-2016. Mr. President, as it happens in all other countries in the world, we have our own challenges. We are facing difficult economic crisis and bitter austerity measures with negative implications on all aspects of human life. In connection with that, we would like to inform you that the protest against poor economic condition occurred in several major cities in the countries on the 7th February this year. The Council of Ministry of Bosnia and Herzegovina held two sessions with competent state level law enforcement agencies to discuss how best to improve the provisions of the security for the institution of Bosnia and Herzegovina. However, the challenges we face will not discourage us from fighting for better respect of human rights and better life of our citizens. What we see is the need to work on elimination of all serious obstacles in order to achieve the noble goal of universal human right respect. Without sustainable progress in the protection of all human rights, especially economic and social rights, including strengthening the rule of the law, anti-corruption and financial accountability measures, there is no sustainable development and security. All these components are mutually reinforced. In this regard, we welcome the European Union readiness to support initiatives to improve economical governance and strengthen competence as well as stimulate economic growth in my country. The peaceful society are the basis for sustainable development. This is the reason why we are decided to work for the future, which means more work on political will and allocation of resources in order to ensure the implementation of strategies and program for development. In addition, here is also the issue of the accountability to ensure quality life for our citizen, citizens, especially women, girls, and youth, in dignity with equal opportunities, including access to health, education, and meaningful employment. 
We also would like to inform you that the Parliament of Bosnia and Herzegovina and the House of the People of Bosnia and Herzegovina have passed amendments to legislation that regulates the issues of citizen identification numbers. In accordance with the provisions of the election law of Bosnia and Herzegovina, we are expecting that the Central Election Commission of BH will announce general election in May this year, which are which uh, to take place in October 2014. Mr. President, Bosnia and Herzegovina has made a significant progress towards European integration despite all complexities presented within its society. Union commitment to the European path has been our highest priority. In that regard, we would like to use this opportunity to commend the European Union's increased engagement and a reinforced role in the country as well as enhanced presence of the combined U U uh, European UN Special Representative and the EU delegation. My country remains potential candidate for the EU membership. The Stabilization and Association Agreement, SAA, between BH and the European Union was ratified in 2011, but has not yet entered into the force. However, the inter interim SAAA, the trade-related part, came into the force upon its signing and has been successfully implemented ever since 2008 in all its domains. Nonetheless, political dialogue aimed at uh, finding solution for all open questions has been continued so that SAA could come into the force, which in effect would enable countries to, to submit a credible application for the membership to the EU. We strongly believe that the progress of Bosnia and Herzegovina along the European Union enlargement path is also in the interest of all European Union member states and therefore serious and progressive engagement of the European Union is important in helping BH to facilitate the implementation of necessary reform on our part toward to European future also as a constructive way of resolving our the outstanding difficulties and fostering the dynamic of the integration processes. We also make additional efforts necessary for completing the five plus two agenda, which is obligation for closure of the OHR and resolution of all outstanding issues. Implementation of Sejdic Finci judgment of the European Court of Human Rights are also remains to be addressed. Mr. President, the ICTY has played an important role in the prosecution of those responsible for serious violation of the international law on the territory of former Yugoslavia. The tribunal is supposed to serve as a constant reminder that there is no impunity for such serious crimes that were committed. We still insist on our common goal to investigate crimes that were committed and adequately prosecuted the perpetrators of those crimes, regardless of their ethnicity. In that light, Bosnia and Herzegovina continues constructive cooperation with the tribunal, considering that the tribunal will soon complete its mandate. The further pro processing of war crimes will have to be transferred to the national judicial systems. As regional cooperation also plays an important role, we are certain that the protocol of exchange of evidence and information on war crimes signed between the offices of the prosecutor of Bosnia and Herzegovina and of Serbia and Croatia will serve as impetus towards strengthening communication and enhancing coordination of the offices. My country remains dedicated to further promoting and increasing regional cooperation since it is 
common interests of the countries in the region as well. Mr. President, implementation of the existing human rights instruments, sustainable return and local integration of the refugees and internally displaced persons remain the priority of Bosnia and Herzegovina. We continue good cooperation between partner countries in the framework of the Sarajevo processes on refugees and IDPs and see that the comprehensive and coordinating return of the refugees and IDPs throughout the region is crucial to lasting peace. Regarding the initiative which has been launched by UNHCR last year and renewed recently on eventual declaring the termination of the refugee status for the refugees from Bosnia and Herzegovina, we believe that UN HCR decision to terminate this status need to be further discussed, especially bearing in mind the effect of such decision on the situation in the country. Such determination by UNHCR would mo most likely have impact on the situation of those groups for which the condition to return to their pre-war home have not been uh, met. The Annex 7 of the Dayton Peace Agreement guarantees to all refugees from BH as well as internally displaced persons the right to return to their pre-war homes. The current figures from UNHCR provide strong evidence that the parties to Annex 7 have not yet created conditions necessary for voluntary return of refugees and IDPs to their pre-war homes. Therefore, we strongly believe that the proposed declaration of secession of refugees status jeopardized the realization of objectives of the revised strategy for the implementation of Annex 7 of the Dayton Peace Agreement. For the above mentioned reason, I would like to inform you that my country does not support decision of the secession of the refugee status in 2014 but insists that the consideration of secession of the refugee status be postponed until 2017 at the time of the completion of the regional housing program as well as other programs underway. Mr. President, we are aware that the state bear the primary responsibility to respect and ensure the human rights individuals within their territories. We are fully committed to addressing all forms of violence against women and girls, including sexual violence in conflict. Protection of women in conflict situation and ending impunity remain our utmost priorities. We have track record of def uh, definitive action to implement UN Security Resolution 1325, and we were the first country in the Southeast Europe to develop a comprehensive national action plan for its implementation. With the aim of impro uh, improving the overall situation of women victims of, ra of uh, rape, we make efforts to finalize the processes of developing of the second action plan for implementation of the Security Council Resolution 1325, which contains important provision for survivors of conflict-related sexual violence. This year, Bosnia and Herzegovina presented a candidature for CEDO. If elected, our candidate will place her priorities on prevention and rising awareness of these most important issues. She will continue fight against prejudice and impunity, and my country attaches a great significance to this candidature and thus hopes to advance the CEDO agenda. Mr. President, we are making additional efforts to solve the remaining border, border and property issues with neighboring countries. Regional cooperation and good neighbor, neighboring relationships are uh, an essential part of Bosnia and Herzegovina process of moving towards the European Union. We continue our active involvement in regional initiatives and further developed our bilateral relations with other 
enlargement countries and neighboring European Union member states. Regional cooperation is one of the foreign policy priorities and uh, for the Bosnia and Herzegovina and the entire region. This is important element regarding the implementation of the Dayton Peace Agreement and indicates the capacity of the foreign policy of the country. My country is committed and dedicated to development of the friendly relationship with its neighbors, to the processes of the European integration and resolution of the outstanding issues in the European spirit. Finally, Mr. President, in spite of the positive developments in the country, we are aware of the standoff in the political processes. It is necessary to develop positive atmosphere which will foster constructive political dialogue that will lead towards resolution of the outstanding issues. All changes in Bosnia-Herzegovina must be based on the rule of law. Therefore, the full implementation of the Dayton Peace Agreement is imperative. On the end, I would like to remind the permanent representative of the Russian Federation that is in accordance to the constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bosniaks are one of the three constitutes people and referring to them as a Muslim is not in accordance to our constitution. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I thank the representative of Bosnia and Herzegovina for her statement. I now give the floor to His Excellency Mr. Ioannis Brailas, Deputy Head of the Delegation of the European Union to the United Nations.